So as you can see, that Instagram is not refreshing. It is down right now. So I went over to the internet and it said there is a problem with Instagram. I scrolled down the feed and then I saw Twitter and I was like, oh, let me go check Twitter and see what everyone is talking about over there, which look, it is trending when it was down. Instagram was trending when it was down. So this is why it's important not to put all your eggs into one basket and diversify what you're doing for your business. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video. I'm gonna give you three ways to diversify what you are doing. So earlier today, you saw that Instagram went down. And I showed you a previous clip of what happened and exactly the thought process I went through and probably what you went through as well. And if you are a business owner and you have a business online and you're only focusing on social media and you're putting all your eggs in one basket, well, you might have been freaking out a little bit and like, what am I supposed to do? Like, if it's down, like what happens if it were to completely go away and all of your assets were in that one social media platform or on social media only? Well, this is what this video is about. It's going to teach you and show you exactly what you can do to diversify your assets so you're not just relying only on social media. So let me share my screen with you. Okay, so one way to diversify your assets is to have your own website. And this does not mean having a company website if you are part of a company that provides a website, which is great if you have a company website, but you also want to have your own website where you can put your own tools, your own, you know, freebies, your own products, maybe your blog, your about section. It doesn't have to be that much, but it's your own asset. And so you can grow that over time and have continuously more traffic coming to that as well. Another way you can do this is you can grow your email list. And with an email list, you can have lots of different choices. So you can see I have a lot of different lists for depending on what I'm doing. So for example, for my Instagram growth course, you can see that is its own list. So if I send out a email just to those people, it's only going to be sent to the people who are inside the course. Same thing with the newsletter. I have a newsletter on my bio link page right here at the bottom so people can sign up to that and get weekly newsletters from that um, along with tons of other things that I have on there so like the turn engagement into sales Instagram group I just started that's going to be its own list as well so you're getting information so you can segment and have those people in lists now this is something that doesn't happen in one day or two days this is something that ha gradually happens over time and you have to continuously send people to where you want them to or provide them information or value to why they would want to join your list. Now, of course, you don't just have to collect emails. There's an option you can also collect phone numbers. If that's something you want to add, so you can have phone numbers and text message phone numbers, text message, phone numbers, so you can send text messages as well. So you're not just relying on that as well. So you have multiple um, assets, assets 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 going on then you can once you have that information you can put it into a different crm folder so that way it is online so it's easy access this is where i do notes as well but then i also put it into a spreadsheet so i can access it as well for some reason if that were to go down and not to say so say you're talking with someone and this person is showing interest or would like some information about your business you can invite them to the email list or get their information so you can stay in contact with them and you do this by going through the dms on social media so of course instagram is coming back up and it's not something that's going to be going away but if it were to go down you have a backup to message or follow up with your potential customers if it were to go down for a certain amount of time. So that was just real quick. You can collect emails, text messages, and have your own website. There are other things that you can be doing, but those are three primary things that you can start on right now. And of course, growing your email list, phone number list, your website doesn't happen overnight. This is something that takes time and gradually can happen. So because it went down today, don't, don't stop and freak out. Go out and you know, continue to DM people, continue to talk with your potential customers and collect their information and save it like I showed you in the CRM tracker and a spreadsheet um, on your email list. This way you can continuously follow up with those potential customers. And if you're starting at zero, don't get discouraged. Everyone starts at zero. You can always grow your way up. It's about the consistency and providing information and value that your potential customer wants and has a reason to continuously get emails or text messages or reach your blog post or whatever it is that you are doing.
All right, so make sure you like this video if you learned exactly how to diversify your assets other than social media. I actually put the link on the page. Go to the christinaspoor.com backslash links and scroll to the bottom and go subscribe to the newsletter so you get updates on new you know videos i release blog posts um, special events or anything that happens and you'll get notified on that i'll leave the link in the description for you as well with that being said have a wonderful day and i do think instagram is up by now i just made this video very last minute because you know i too once freaked out about it when it went down i think it went back in uh almost a year ago now maybe maybe sooner i don't know maybe longer i don't know when it was but i didn't really have it as diversified as i needed to and so i realized that's something that i really needed to work on so wanted to share that information with you have a wonderful day i will see you in next week's video